welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 101. In this episode, we're going to be getting started on our mega build with our first farm. We're going to be using um, axolotls to hunt glow squid, and we're going to be getting started on our docks. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over there. In between episodes, I did a little bit of planning and preparation. I designed a um, glow squid farm, and I sketched out a couple of ideas for like block pallets and the like for the, um, the city build that we've got going on over here. Um, trying to think. Yeah, that's really about it as far as what I've done in between episodes. I did go around collecting resources. Uh, I've got my shulker boxes, the few that I have, um, full of resources. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the build is going to be a um, the docks and then a warehouse near the docks. I'm also going to kind of get started on the road design and laying out some of that over in that area. Um, maybe if I've got some time, I might go ahead and get started on the um, lighthouses. But... Um, but yeah, so this is the area that we're going to be working around. Um, I'm going to have a... Um, probably going to square this off a little bit. I do want to keep a little bit of a curve, but it does need to be a little square. Um, and then probably doing a warehouse in this area that I'm at right now. And I forgot to bring a bed. Great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut... I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming and um, laying out the structure and just the general outlines um, before we get back. And then I'll show you guys the um, design I have for the uh, glow squid farm. So I'll be back. And we are back. So as you can see here, I have the beginnings of what will be the glow squid farm. Um, this is going to be set up to look like a warehouse on the exterior, and then the interior will be the farm. So I've got the framework set up. I'm doing a primarily um, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, and plain stone brick um, gradient. The way that I, the way that makes the most sense for me is to kind of have a mostly mossy layer, a layer that's gonna be mixed with mossy and cracked, a mostly cracked, which will have an occasional mossy or occasional clean, um, then a layer that is a mix between cracked and clean stone brick, and then a layer of just the clean stone brick with an occasional cracked. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to need all of that height, but I figured I would go for it regardless. Over here is going to be the tank for the glow squid. So the the way that glow squid spawn is they need to be in complete darkness. So this entire area is going to be enclosed in stone or in tinted glass. And they need to have um, stone or a stone type underneath them. So that could be andesite. It could be diorite, granite. I'm just going to use plain stone because I think that looks simplest. Um, and honestly, this is not really going to be a farm that you can look inside of. You can see through the tinted glass, but for the most part, it's going to be out of sight, out of mind. Now, I know that the rates for this farm are not going to be that great because we are so close to the ocean that there are going to be squid spawning out there. But this is just a passive farm. It's just going to be a way to get a few glow squid ink sacks every now and then. I'm really not hoping for it to be... 100% efficient. I just want it to be fun. Um, the farm is limited in height. Glow squid can only spawn one, two, three, four, five blocks above the stone. Any higher than that and they'll not spawn. That's because they're supposed to be spawning in dark caves. So what I've got here is five layers and then the sixth layer will actually be a horizontal water stream that will push all of the drops over to here, where in this space right there will be a hopper chain bringing the drops from the back to the front into a storage system 
out here. Um, the way that we will be killing the glow squid will be with some axolotls. You actually don't need to prime this with any axolotls to begin with. They will spawn in there with the glow squid. I do have some axolotls just because I want to make sure that there's always some in the tank, but at least as far as my testing goes, there's always going to be some axolotls in with the glow squid. So I'm going to keep working on this. I need to actually go get quite a bit more brick. I wasn't really anticipating it being this large. Um, I need to go get some more stone brick, cracked stone brick, and mossy stone brick. And then I will finish up this build, and we will get started on the port area. Now, I did say that I would um, start terraforming a bit. So I have actually kind of squared this end off. And... It, it's a little bit more obvious on the map. So here we go. So you can see um, down in this area that I've squared it off. I'm actually going to have the dock go out a little bit more and out a little bit more. I plan on having it kind of squared off in this general area. I'm thinking of building like a fish market over here or maybe just shipping containers, not really sure. Um, I'm probably gonna put another warehouse in this general area, maybe up here um, for another for a kelp farm. That's what it was. I'm like I thought of a farm that I wanted to put up here, but I kind of forgot. So that's kind of my general plan, but the kelp farm is gonna have to be for another day. Um, today we're just working on the glow squid and the docks. So I'm going to go collect some more resources and I'll get back to you guys when I have made some more progress. And we are back. So as you can see here, I've pretty much finished up the interior of the glow squid farm. And let me just scaffold up to show you what I've got going on. So inside of here, we have a completely dark pool. The top layer is actually just a single water source on the back side here that is pushing water over onto these hoppers. Now let me get over here where there's some light. So you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of trap doors here. That is because the hoppers are part of the wall structure. And so if there were a glow squid that were to get killed right on this block, its ink sac could actually get caught on the side of the hopper instead of getting inside of it. So by putting these trap doors here, any item that is thrown out will get up over top and into the hoppers. Um, I also have hoppers running along the side here into those chests. Um, so I've got trap doors on the inside and outside as well, just for aesthetic reasons. Um, so let me just go ahead and break that. Now there is a little bit of light that is still leaking in from down here. Um, and I could put solid blocks there. Actually, I might end up doing that um, to prevent light from getting inside the farm because that is actually going to make the rates a little bit worse. So let me just put some blocks there. And just for symmetry's sake, we will also do some blocks here. Um, I did want to be able to look inside, although I might change my mind here. I also might make the inside here completely non-spawnable with slabs, so that way I can have it dark on the inside just to make it a little bit more efficient. So let me just clear this out. And I think that's going to do it for this farm here. Um, I've got a lot of terraforming work to do. I've got to finish taking down this hill. Um, and then I'm going to get started on the docks out here. So I just wanted to give you all a quick update on how this farm turned out. Um, like I said, there's still quite a bit of work to be done. I do need to put a roof over top of it. Um, but hopefully it'll be a 
decent way to get some glow squid passively. Um, like I said, I've tested this in a creative world. I have not tested it um, in a world that actually has like regular squid spawns and things like that. So I'm not expecting it to be super efficient. I'm not expecting it to be very efficient at all. But we'll see. If I get a few glow squid ink sacks, that'll be cool. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get started on the rest of the area. I'm going to organize my inventory real quick, and then I'm going to actually show off the build palette. So I'll get right back to you in a sec. Okay, so I've got the build palette here in my inventory. Um, I'm going to get started with this wall here. So it's going to start with a um, kind of like the building over there. It's going to be mostly um, mossy stone brick at the bottom. In fact, I think it might just be all mossy stone brick. Um, then it will be a combination of cracked and mossy stone. And then it will be some cracked and plain stone bricks. And yeah, um, so it'll be mostly cracked, a little bit of plain, and then it will be kind of 50-50 cracked and plain. So let me just build this out a little bit further. And the sun is starting to set. Okay, so that's pretty much what the retaining wall is going to look like. And then in front of the retaining wall, we're going to have um, black stone wall in the water to show, to make it look kind of like it's wet, followed by some cobbled deep slate walls, and then an inverted um, cobbled deep slate stair. And this is going to be kind of every three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let me go sleep before I die. So this is going to be kind of resource intensive. Um, for the mossy stone brick, I've actually been using the moss block, which I know I could use vines for, but it's just easier to farm the moss block right now. And then we'll go there, 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 and there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Counting on camera is so much fun. And I think I might actually have it go here. So it will then turn the corner and it will go out at a 90 degree angle to go out in that direction. So I'm gonna put some more um, work into this. Wait a minute. Nope, I did not count right. So I'm going to put a little bit more time into getting the retaining wall up. Um, I'm going to have it come out to the left here and come out to the right here so it kind of makes a C, a giant letter C. And then um, I'll show what the um, surface is going to look like. So I'll be back. And we are back. So before I show you all of the uh, work that I've been doing around the build and all the detailing, I wanted to show off um, kind of my derpy mistake. So first off, the farm is working. I've gotten 40 inks, uh, glow ink sacks already. But the issue that I ran into was the fact that while I came up with this design in my testing world, I forgot the fact that my testing world is a flat world 
therefore it's at Y level like five or six. And glow squid only spawn under um, sea level, so under Y level 65. So I was not getting any spawns because I built this above sea level. Sorry about that. Um, so in order to fix that, I could have completely tore everything down and rebuilt it lower, but I decided to just dig this down an extra few levels. I'm now on Y level um, 58, so 58, 59, 60, 61, and 62 are all underneath Y level 63, so I get some spawns. I also have some axolotl in here um, that I named. Um, I have four, murderer one, two, three, and four. But there are also, like this guy right here is a wild axolotl. You don't really need to put any of your own axolotl in here. Um, I just wanted to have some name tagged. That way I knew that there would always be some axolotl in there to kill off the glow squid. So as you can see, I've got 40 ink sacks. It's not great because as I mentioned before, we do have all of this ocean around. Um, in order to increase spawn rates, what I can do is create an AFK platform up in the air. That's actually what I did to test out to see if it was working. I blocked up 120-ish um, blocks. That way, um, mobs in the ocean would not spawn, and only the mobs in my little spawning area here would generate. But that's kind of ugly. Um, anyway, so I finished this area let me jump into the water oh i say i finished and i didn't boop, boop, boop. so we see here this is what i was talking about like a giant c shape um or a giant letter c i have a dock coming out this way i'm probably going to extend it out a little bit more but I realized that I was running into the sandbar, so I'm going to probably have to take some time in between episodes and terraform underwater here, which is always lovely, um, and get rid of the sandbar, maybe even get rid of these little islands. I haven't decided. Because um, I eventually want to build some ships, probably one right over here, one on the other side, and maybe one up alongside here. Um, but yeah. So this is the where it is now. It's not finished. Um, I do need to work on how it's going to taper off and end on the two sides. I also need to work on transitions. Um, unfortunately, the, the um, retaining wall is kind of showing there. So I think what I'm going to do is what I've been playing around with over here. So it's not just a whole bunch of trap doors but having some barrels, maybe having um, some dried kelp blocks, maybe some other um, other blocks in here just to kind of cover it up. I do have more trapdoors around. I'll probably out in this area um, use trapdoors to hide some lighting, but what am I hearing? But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, I think we're going to focus mostly on um, building and terraforming. Um, I want to get the two lighthouses up and running and um, work on the road design. Now, uh, before we end the episode, I do want to just address the big, ugly block of um, cobblestone in the sky. That is the gunpowder and string farm that we made a few episodes ago. I'm probably going to tear it all down because um, it isn't great. Um, I think I'm just going to build a general mob farm using kind of the same design but without worrying about the trapdoors. Um, but I'll build that off in, um, in a different direction outside of the render area. But um, as far as other detailing, you know, I'm using trapdoors, a lot of barrels. You know, this is supposed to be a warehouse, so that's kind of the idea. Um, and then lastly, let me just clear. This is what the area looks like on the map. Um, 
you can see the roof. I might throw in some alternate textures just to add a little bit of variation into the roof. Um, I do like how it's kind of variated here where I added in the different kinds of trapdoors and the um, different kinds of slabs in the barrels. I do like that kind of texturization that's going on. Um, we're not going to have all these hard lines. It will be kind of amorphous. Um, but anyways, I um, think that's going to do it for us today. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments area below. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, you can hear a glow squid dying. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If, um, if you're interested in playing along, this is an SMP server, um, but it is only open to my uh, Patreon subscribers, I guess. Yeah, we'll use that phrase. Um, so if you're interested, you can become a patron down in the description below. Um, every little bit helps. Um, you know, I, I'm currently running this server as well as the um, Cosmere SMP server, and the Patreon is just there to help offset the cost. So, like I said, I think that's going to do it for us today. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>